Hello everybody, welcome back to the next City Skylines episode with me Biffa here in Biffshireton. Last episode we really worked on our industrial area, solving the traffic, solving some of the complaints that we had, not enough workers, that's a big one. A lot of people really enjoyed that episode. This episode we're going to try and take a look at, I think, our mass transit and some of our roads because as you go around fixing the city you will often find you'll fix one problem and it pushes sort of a problem elsewhere in the city and let's be honest this isn't the best design city ever <laughs> it's a bit of a spaghetti isn't it so like for instance this area here absolutely no road hierarchy at all it is just an absolute nightmare and something else you'll also notice here's a perfect example that we, we've got the old style size of uh, metro stops so if we get one of the new ones look at the difference in length they were lengthened in one of the updates so even though it is working okay i need to go around and fix all of that but yeah we're definitely going to start taking a look at some of our road hierarchy in areas and try and get this fixed 64 percent traffic as always despawning is turned off if I turned that on, I think our traffic would go up probably to about 70%. But yeah, the lack of road hierarchy is really causing a problem. And we've got a few... Oh, this this is like... This is good. This is a good idea, sort of. It's a bit winky wonky. But you can see where people are struggling to come out. Let's just do a bit of lame mathematics on here. I think that would help a lot. Uh, I'm going to leave the lame mathematics on that junction there. And we're going to just do this one here. So we've got roads coming on, on, on. And here, where does that go? Well, that goes underneath, comes on. There's a lot of coming on, but not a lot of going off. Yeah, okay. So, we can't do late mathematics. It's three lanes plus one is four lanes. Plus one is five lanes. Plus one is six lanes. <laughs> By the time we get over here, we're going to have... So oh, do you know what, actually? Let's follow the rule. Yeah, I've got a bit of a cold. Uh, let's follow the rules and see what would actually happen. Go on, let's do it. So, we've got four lanes. Three plus one... Uh, let's upgrade that this bit here to four and then we could actually let it get back down to three again there so it means they can come out ah oh, that would be the way to do it oh jumpy game so we'll do the same here four then they've got a no to switch four we've already got and then they've got a no to switch and then what we'll do we'll actually help them come out and say at least you've all got a lane to come out then this node here you can move around if you wish same there same there it'll stop them all cutting across each other it'll just keep this main road flowing which is what we want and then they've got this node to change and they're sort of changing nodes along there look yeah and what we can do to help out is say don't switch there this one you can switch up uh then don't switch there and then this one you can switch down it just spreads out the lane switching. Look at that. <laughs> this guy here, did you see him? He went on the dirt. What the heck? <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. And then we could also do this going the other way. So here we've got lanes going off. So we could do the lane mathematics. Might work a bit better here. So three, one goes off down to two. Then one goes off down to one. Yeah, go on. Might as well. And then one comes back on, back to two, and one goes back up. Oh, good grief. There's like no nodes in the middle of that at all. There's like a coming on and a going off all in the same place. That is a bit of a nightmare. What am I even doing with this here? And the same over there. Okay, well, I, I'm going to just sort of leave that as it is and hope that's okay and then <laughs> and if it isn't we'll come back and take a deeper look at it and this here with all of these traffic lights and all oh, these six lane flipping roads i hate them i absolutely hate them if we just did some dedicated turning lanes for all of these first of all like that that would help and then if we just removed a lot of these traffic lights so what have we got here yeah traffic light 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 mm, traffic light traffic light traffic light but this is the same over here as well isn't it let's remove all of these traffic lights there we go oh i've got distracted again i was going to do one thing and i saw some traffic and thought you know what i could make a difference there i could change some people's lives and then hopefully that might help we'll come back and have a look at that i'm going to get back to what i was doing so i'm going to go around the city and i'm going to go through all the metro stations and change them for the larger one which is going to mean a lot of jiggery pokery and stuff like that and i may even i'm just wondering whether to rip out the entire metro setup 
Uh, that uh, I may I'll do it as as I see fit. So I'm not going to just randomly rip out the whole thing. So yeah, let me update that, and uh, I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, so I've just done this section down here. We've got a loop here, a loop here, and a connecting line between the two, which is fine. And then we've got a loop up here as well. And we've also got this line, whoop, jumpy game, this line that goes up here, although it looks like it's gonna just take a while for all the stops to sort themselves out uh, since I've changed some things. I think these two actually need to just move over here for the game to start picking up what's going on cannot find a path does that mean i've not connected something up correctly somewhere i will check that anyway so i i just like to do that with my metro i'll have loops in an area and then connecting lines between them there's a connecting line up to here which takes all of those in which is fantastic uh this one up here again has got like a loop going round. no connection to this metro over here which i think i'll leave it like that i think that'll be fine so now I'm going to look at this one. You can see what I've tried to do again. We've got like a little loop here, a loop here, a loop here. Yeah, I think maybe I'll expand these loops, make them a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm just looking at some of these older stations we've got in here. And that area actually looks really nice with those stations in there. Which is a real shame because they're very small. And I've sort of, I've used the picker mod just to grab that and see if we place it again, whether it's going to change the size. And it's still quite small and this is so congested in there. I'm not sure it's a good idea to keep those. So unfortunately, they are going to have to go as well. And that's what happens when you delete a stop of the underground. Everybody comes above surface and runs for the nearest underground. Yeah, I just decided these ones in the middle in the park weren't really needed. So we can always plant some more trees and make that park look even nicer. 
So I'm going to let this game run for a few minutes until it's sorted out these stops again. And then I'm going to work on the next area. And we've got a couple of connections here coming over to this one, which is good. This is actually quite a lot nearer. Could I just have a path between those? Where, where was that underground station? There. So they could walk up there, cross over the road. If I just put a path from there to there, I think they would walk. Which, yeah, let's do that. There you go, already people walking across. Fantastic. Right, that's this area fixed. We've got a clockwise and an anti-clockwise loop. Um, it also has a little line coming down here to connect to this loop in this section. And yeah, that's working okay. Goodness me, this is going to take me ages. <laughs> I've done this bit, this bit, and this bit. Well, oh, I've only got this bit up here left to do. Oh, good, okay. Let me get that sorted as well. Let's have a quick look. What have we got? Yeah, same sort of thing. We've got little tiny loops, little tiny loops, little tiny loops. I'm just going to make this, I think, a much larger loop with a stock coming down from the top in the middle and then coming up from the bottom into the middle as well. Yeah, that'll work fine. Okay, pretty sure I've got all of them set up and done. And I've spotted a few little places where we can add some paths in. Like we've got this, this is our industry area with our metro loop going through these houses. We've got these loops over here with more houses and shops. And, you know, that's not too far. People will walk that far to get from one station to another. So let's just have a look and see if we can run some sort of path through here it might mean we destroy a house or two but hey ho let's see how we can get this done there we go that should do we connect to that road they can walk down here and head up to the station fantastic so what i am gonna do is i didn't make a note of this before is i'm gonna go back and load up my old save uh, before we started this 86 metro lines good grief uh, i'm also going to go through and change all the color so it's easy to see and i'm going to see how many people were using our metro before i'm going to let this run for a while and see how many people are using the new and improved metro there's also a couple of lines that have got zero vehicles so we'll just get rid of those and then i'll double check what's going on there we go excellent oh did i delete the wrong one there i think we're okay yep and uh, yeah, I'll be back with you after I've done that. Right, here we are on my pre-start to this episode save. And we have 4,900, yeah, that's the one, 4,957 per week residents and 650 per week tourists. So keep those figures in your brainiacs and we'll check them at the end of the episode uh, after we've done all the updates. Also might be worth keeping in mind whether we're making any money on this or not. It's minus 10 grand. I'm going to make a note of that and we'll see whether that increases or decreases as well. Okay, so while that is all trying to work its way out and sort out what everybody wants to take to travel to where and why and with whom, let's take a look again at this area here. Now, most of this traffic is because they're all trying to get over here to this cargo station, which is just, you know, there's so much going on. They're struggling to get over here to these cargo train terminals so i'm thinking we need to add another one down here now we've got this handy little road system <laughs> i don't know what the <laughs> is going on with this um but we could definitely yeah we could definitely use this space over here uh we'll leave you we'll come back to you let's remove that along there i want to put a cargo train station in along here somewhere and we're going to make this a one way in and out type of situation so let's go like this there we go so we've got plenty of space there we may adjust the roads at the end we'll see and then we know that this line coming up here oh my goodness that traffic we know that this train line coming up here if you could open this for me onto this one here there we go is our cargo one so if we split off of there and come round here that should work out quite well And then I'm also just thinking about changing the rows that we've got in here. I mean, it's nice having this one-way sort of system thing going on. I'm thinking we're going to keep the outside. Mm, I'm not sure. I want to change these internal ones anyway to these to these roads. 
with the medians down here. There we go. There we go. I think that's going to work a lot better overall. Gives everybody options of different places they can go. And then I may even change these external. Whoa, jumpy game. Thank you for making me change the wrong road. Let's change that one. And then I may even change these external ones as well around the outside to these four lane roads because it's just going to make it better when you come to a junction. You're going to have a junction like this and then when you put in your dedicated turning lanes, you've got one for left, one for straight on or one for right and one for straight on. I think that's just going to work much better overall. Because I think I'm right in saying that most of the junctions in this area are three-way junctions anyway. There's not many four-way junctions. Can I change that one there? Yeah, there we go. There we go. We'll see how that goes. It's going to take him a while to work out what's going on but then i would also like to make some of these roads a main road so if we just come into here select this tool no come into here and select that road and then we can say adjust road okay so at the minute it's going all the way up over there what i want this to do can i like drag that all the way around to connect up there and then can i bring that one back all the way to there so that's going to be one main road all the way round and then i'm going to say on there put giveaway signs to all the roads coming on i'll check this section at the top in a moment and then we're going to do the same over here so this road i want this to go all the way up there like that there we go and we'll say giveaway signs to all the roads coming on and then this is just like a little separate road up there so let's take a look and see how that is working the only thing it doesn't do when we do that is do the dedicated turning lanes, which I thought it used to do that automatically. So that's slightly annoying. There's a four-way junction there. We'll take a look at that in a sec. Yeah, let me just go around and add all of these in. Right. Okay. So let's let that run for a bit. What I could do as well is I put some paths in here for people walking across um, which obviously at the minute they can't because of the medians just a little trick using the node controller you can add crossings in like that turn the lights off i don't think we're going to get many people using these anyway because most people are driving aren't they they're dropping off trucks with goods and stuff like that but as i've got them in here i may as well just go along and add the crossings in there we go and over here not going to let me add it in where i want it i want it in there thank you very much and then i'm just going to check there isn't any traffic lights in any weird spots we don't really need those clogging up the place i think we're okay to be honest yeah that looks okay that looks okay yep that's fine and we've already got people starting to use this which is fantastic now what we could do on some of these roads where there's a three-way junction two lanes coming in works perfectly you've got a lane for every direction but then when you get a four-way junction like this there's just not enough lanes so we do have a three and a two asymmetrical road which for instance if we do that and then did i'll tell you what we'll do actually we'll do this first so we need it there we'll have that one yeah that was right and then we need it there and then if we do our dedicated turning lanes there we go so we've now got dedicated turning lanes coming into the junction that might just work a little bit better are we going to need that coming out let's have a look oh people are using our cargo train station uh, so that means a lot less of these trucks are going to be trying to head through these junctions at the top that was the idea and then as you get here yeah there's not quite enough lanes here is there because we've got left right and straight on so if we upgrade that to three lane and then again i'm going to use my asymmetrical roads coming into this junction like that and then we'll do control left click with that one dedicated turning lanes in every direction 
Nice. Okay, so just taking this left-hand side section here, it's actually okay. If we look at the top, there's not too much traffic, even though the roads are a bit wiggly and all over the place. There's not too much traffic coming into the section. Where they're moving down here, it's all moving okay. This is a bit of an issue. We've got a lot of cars coming in, and they're sort of getting a bit blocked up here. I think this definitely needs to be a roundabout. What is that building there? Uh, it is a hospital, um, so that may move. So let us just take a quick look at this yeah we're definitely going to move that hospital which is a bit weird to have over here i've got to be honest could we just pop it in over here somewhere yeah let's do that get it out of the way so i definitely think a roundabout here is going to work much better There we go. So I know that's only a T-junction, and I mean, we could add this as a connection into there, but I'm just trying to keep this separate and keep it moving. If I was going to connect that, I would move our cargo train station up here, but I've kept this long runoff coming up to it just so we've got tons of space. So hopefully, with the way this is set up, this is going to work okay. Unfortunately, we've got this junction that's right next to it here, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, we haven't got the dedicated lanes on there. Let's just change that because we don't want that blocking up this. Yeah, do you know what I might do is stop that connecting there just so it can keep going. Oh, that's why. Look, we've got the giveaway signs wrong. No, let's try that instead and just see whether that works. As long as it keeps moving, we should be fine. Ah, oh, there we go. All cleared up nicely. Fantastic. So that is working well. A little bit of traffic build up here and there. As long as it's not blocking up other junk junctions. Junctions? As long as it's not blocking up other junctions, I'm happy with that. What is happening here? Ah, uh, this is that I put this road in across here because of this. And yeah do you know what i'm actually going to ban trucks on that i didn't want trucks coming across there anyway so we're going to use this here and we're going to ban trucks no more trucks but everybody else can and they're all like confused now <laughs> and then we want to go like this give way like that give way take out the traffic lights and we'll, we'll put some dedicated turning lanes there there we go excellent couple of other spots up here where we could definitely do with six lane roads just because of all the junctions so let me just do what i said i was going to do on the other one this one here can actually be a two and a three like that with three going into the junction this one needs to be as a four uh on either side so that needs to be this let me just go along and do these actually change them back to these ones There you go. And now when you come along here and do dedicated turning lanes, you get a lane for each direction. Uh, whoa, jumpy game. Come on now. Come on now. So we've done that one. We've done this one. We've done that one. We've done that one. And that will just keep everything moving nicely. Fantastic. Right, we're at 70%. We still have a lot of work to do. So be sure to subscribe to be here for the next episode. And thank you for your continued support as well. Any help or tips you have as we watch these episodes, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And uh, not as many people using the Metro as I thought. We'll just check that before we finish up. Forgot about that one. 3,200 instead of 4,900. But we've got more tourists coming in, you know, so... You win some, you lose some. Right, I'm off. Have a fantastic day. Check out the other video on the screen and I will see you all for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.